Oh, boring, boring, boring. Nothing on TV. Oh, nothing on the laptop. Let's see if I can find something. Maybe there's something on here I can buy. Ooh, what's this thing? This looks good. Let's just put this on. Look, it's a Harry Potter box set. Wow, that looks good. I want one. I think I'm going to try and magically get one because this looks really good. Right, let, let me test it. All right, I don't have a ball, but I do have a fork. All right, let's try. Okay. Lingalia Liviosa. Boom. Oh, horse shit. It didn't work. Let's try. Oh, no, I know what to say. Lingalia Chris Blue. Boom. Oh, wow, it's worked. There you go, you see guys, if you know the special words, you can always get what you want for free. <laughs> Hello guys and girls, um, here we go. Um, I'm going to try and do a full in-depth look at the uh, latest uh, offering that I've bought myself, and that's the Harry Potter Wizard Collection 31 disc, complete with all the extras. I will try and do it as quickly as possible, with plenty less waffling and gags. And um, it's quite warm today because look, no socks, but you don't want to see my feet. So I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible, as in depth as possible for you, in case you want to buy one. And uh, wow, it is the first, it is the biggest Harry Potter box set uh, that's come out. It's the biggest box set that I think in history has ever come out. It's one big mother. Um, it, it, it's a couple of kilos in weight and um, in height, it's, it's about 20 inches high and... Uh, it's close to the same on about 10 inches to 15 on back, so it's absolutely awesome. So if we look at it, it is basically a big box for the starters, and um, looking more closely at it, and if you turn it around, it's pretty much a similar sort of thing going around it, which is the uh, emblem of the Harry Potter, the big H for Harry in there, and then obviously you've got the uh, four teams. You've got Slytherin, you've got Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw on the right. Um, the nice thing about this is it's really good quality. I don't know if it can show up in the light, but um, you can see all these cracks. This is like, you know, those hardback books, a good quality hardback books. It's thick, it's got a lovely texture. And if we move over here, We've got the beautiful HP with the, uh, what do you call that, the golden snitch around it, and that um, is all slightly raised up as well, which is really, really nice. And um, same goes for the actual emblem as well, and uh, the four symbols. So um, a lot of quality has been put into the actual box itself on the outside. It's not like cheap, nasty cardboard. It's this nice hardback book. Um, I will open it up, but it also has metal hinges attached to it as well and magnets also so the quality is there and uh, for the price it really has to do that it can't be cheap and tacky it really really doesn't because it is an awful lot of money um, I was debating whether I got it but I am a big Harry Potter fan so um, hey what you meant to do eh? what, what you're gonna do you, you want to buy it of course you do so if we open it up it opens up just like a normal lid but rather than just pulling the top off it actually because you saw the hinges it lifts up like so and uh, we're greeted with the same symbol again that we saw down here uh, maybe I would have liked a different symbol as it's all on the outside of the box but nevertheless it's the uh, four teams again in sort of a chessboard looking uh, look appeal to it so that's nice it's better than a, a blank old screen and it's got its colours as well so um, that's a good start and obviously it's all on the hinges so it won't just flat back down if you do close it up uh, and let it go it slowly just closes down for you so um, that's good uh, nice feel and obviously the next bit is uh, the lid and uh, this is magnet so if you hold it here clicks clicks into place. How cool is that? It's like I've been I I'm at IKEA already, you know? I've got the all the quality IKEA gadgets all in a box set. And uh, that opens up and uh, again, oh look, it's the same symbol again. <laughs> they just slightly buffed it up again. Again, I would have liked a different symbol. They're overkilling the um, Harry Potter team's symbol and um, obviously each team around it as well. Though in this case it's just Four dragons in different colours uh, at the chessboard. Look about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you're looking at your box set, you can put a cup of coffee or something on it. Use it as um, 
a mouse man. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to do that. Not, not for this sort of price. Now, so there we go. And that's it opened up. Now, it's not fully opened up because what we're going to do, we're going to open the doors on the left and right. And we're going to reveal the rest of the drawers. So, like so. Uh, that one I'll open up. Whoop. A bit stiff at the moment. Brand new and all of that. I'll open up like so. And we open that one up like so. And there we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, I do believe I've got um, mangy stuff on my lens of my camera. So if you just hold, bear with me one moment. Uh, this is the problem when you let your wife buy your camcorder. She ruins it and sticks her fingers all over the lens. Um, I've got that all over my camera as well. How annoying, they just have no idea. Right, okay, so there we go. It's a stunning looking box set for stars. Uh, now it's all fully opened up. You're greeted with uh, five drawers, two compartments, there you see there. And uh, we've got two secret compartments on here too, which um, I'll show you in a moment. But um, firstly, as we open it up and we lift up, um, you've got the first box set uh, from the very first film, uh, which is sitting at the very top in a sort of a felt plastic sort of uh, covering, so it won't damage you. Now, the first thing about this is, oh, look, there we go, look. Table. I knew this would come in useful. Um, they're all done like this, and they're all done like a beautiful book. So if you think of it, it's like it's just like a book. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, the binder as well is the same. This one says year one. So you know, if you didn't want them in the boxes, you could line all of these up. Now this is part of the ultimate um, Harry Potter collection, uh, which we're going for a lot more money, a lot more expensive. And they put the discs inside here. As well as your normal disc. So if you open it up um, and you've got the first Blu-ray disc, um, you've got the theoretical and the extended version, and it does say it on there too. So uh, obviously all the normal extras. Now the second one is the normal um, DVD of the movie, uh, greeted with the pictures. And as you can see, it's like a book. It's four pages long. Uh, and this will be the disc you'll be familiar with. It's only on DVD, and that has all the uh, special features that you would have had when you bought it on Blu-ray or DVD originally, you know, the Quidditch games and all of that stuff. Not the best of extras, um, that one wasn't, but um, nevertheless it's included. And then obviously the one from the Ultimate Collections uh, is included, and this is part one, uh, which is The Magic Begins. And um, that's a good one. I've only just started watching a little bit of that yesterday, and obviously it's up-to-date material that was uh, made from 2009 onwards so uh, in this case it's showing you the world of Harry Potter uh, from part one behind the scenes as well as showing up to date interviews as things are at present and how they got around it, how did they feel on the first day and it also includes lots of extra scenes and trailers that were missing from the extras so that's cool, I like that, that's not bad uh, so there we go, uh, nice little four piece booklet, I love that that's really, really nice. Uh, so there we go. Put that one away. Uh, and now we'll move on to the next one, which is part two and three. I believe if I can pull these out. Hell, I'll just take the drawer out and show you. It's much easier. Um, now again, different, different um, actual. Arr, I can't get you out, you bummer you. You had to be like that, didn't you? Right, okay, there we go. This is um, nice, nice artwork. This is Harry Potter, um, The Chamber of Secrets. Again, directed by Chris Columbus, uh, who done the first one. Because the first two are a bit childish, and they would be. They're, they're quite young in that, and then obviously the tone gets darker, they get more grown up. So uh, there you go, exactly the same again. You've got the disc. This one, again, has the extended version on it, which I haven't seen. Uh, and as before, you've got all the... Um, extras that was in the originals and this time you get part two uh, which is the characters of Harry Potter uh, again like before you got all the trailers and TV spots um, additional scenes also but um, this one obviously is uh, more look, looking towards the characters that they're bringing in and what they can achieve uh, so there you go that's Chamber of Secrets um, Azkaban, I mean, the artwork's getting nicer and nicer. Um, Azkaban is my uh, favourite of all the Harry Potter films. Uh, I love part three. I love the beginning. I love the first ten minutes. I love that bus and, and the wolf in the park and the, making that big fat lady just blow up into the sky. Absolutely brilliant. Again, all the same sort of thing. It's all done in a four-page booklet. Um, 
and uh, you're given the um, the creator and what Harry Potter the creatures in part three. Um, so there we go. So there we have it. There is those two. I'm not going to put everything back inside. Um, and then we got the biggest drawer of the lot. Take the old drawer out, um, which is. Goblet of Fire, um, one of my least favourite. I've so probably Half Blood for is my worst, then probably this one will come second for me, but I still enjoyed it, I still thought it was good. It's only Half Blood Prince I was disappointed with, apart from the last 20 minutes or so. So, again, all exactly the same sort of things, all done in the booklet style, and this time you get Sound of Music. Um, not the movie uh, as part of it too so that's all good well said and done woohoo um, and then we got the Order of the Phoenix which is that one there there we go again you get the extras you got the evolution this time now this one um, is only got three discs there is no extra extra features on um, this one it's just got the extras on the actual blu-ray disc itself it's a bit smaller uh, I do believe because there wasn't many extras on the actual movie itself but it makes up for it, it the um, the actual extras of the um, ultimate edition you've got an awful lot of stuff from building the magic uh, the rebellion you've got behind the scenes magic and editing, walking around the trailer camp and trailers so there you go you've got a lot of stuff and again another nice Bit of artwork there, you see Order of the Phoenix, there you go, this one looks very familiar. Hmm, I wonder where they got that idea from. Uh, and that's Goblet of Fire too. So, here we go. Toss them down there, so you see how much I think. This is my favourite artwork out of the lot. This is the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Beautiful with the cauldron and the lights and all of that. And uh, obviously the Half-Blood Prince was a diary, so uh, it's got all the scribbles and stuff on it. Again, um, just get three discs. And all your magic is on the ultimate disc again, which is, um, as you can see there, if you can read it, you've got the additional scene, and this one is magical effects, which is probably the most fun out of all the um, ultimate discs, in my opinion. But um, there you go. So that's that one. Half-Blood Prince. Now, two drawerless now, and I'm moving along quite swiftly. Now, you've got these two little, um, little uh, pop-up drawers, Ikea-style again, with a little click on them. And... Um, bit of a wasted really it's a lovely compartment but um, all they offer in there is the um, hopeless ultraviolet code but it is done in a nice little beautiful scroll you see with a little ribbon across it but um, I don't think much of that but uh, hey ho never mind people want it it's, it's expires in 2014 so there you go that, that's what holds in that one I love that little click uh, in this one you've got a bit more fun uh, you've got one of the items from the Harry Potter, from the Deathly Hallows, and uh, it's all about the Horcruxes in uh, the Deathly Hallows movies, and uh, you get this little thing that comes with it, um, and it's just to say that these documents certified are authentic. Mm, no shit. Okay, and inside you've got the Horcrux, which you will see from part one. They couldn't destroy it. They took forever to destroy it. You put it around the net, and it starts making you turn evil, sort of um, nasty... Voldemort sort of style, and it comes with a uh, goes around the neck if it can fit. I've seen the Warwick Davis try and put it on, and he couldn't fit it on. But um, yeah, it's a chain necklace, and it's really nice detail in it as well. And uh, if you pull it out, it's, it's even got nice detail on the back as well. There you go. See that? How cool is that? Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. Um, that's pretty cool. So um, there you go. There's your uh, first Horcrux. Um, and that was destroyed by the um, the sword that was in the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, so there we are. There's that one. So that's empty now. Um, so we're moving on. We're still moving on, guys. Uh, oh, I'm getting tired here. Right, the next one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, Chris. Come on. You can do it. Um, right, label collection. Um, get a label collection booklet here. Um, it's a little bit flimsy, to be honest. Um, could have been a bit tougher or hardback or something. And uh, this has label collections from the movie. Um, I don't personally remember when all this stuff was. It probably was in um, Diagon Alley in uh, the sixth film, the second and the first film. And if you look out for it, maybe you'll see the actual posters themselves. But they're nicely done. They're sort of glossy. Uh, the paper's normal, but it's glossy where the actual uh, stuff is. Um, there's a few I recognise on here. There's Hogwarts Express. Um, 
That was a bad hit that I can find. I'll probably start looking out for these when I start watching the movie and uh, see if they start appearing or not. Pumpkin juice and so forth. So you get the idea with that one. And below it, we get another one. We get sketches from uh, Stuart Craig. Um, he's kind enough to give you five sketches. And obviously these are prints from his sketches. But they're printed so well, it actually looks like he's drawn them on here and they've never been printed in the first place. They're beautiful. Look at the... Um, detail that goes into the uh, house and then there's five of them there's uh, one of Hogwarts itself it's really really nice um, Hogwarts from a different angle with that wooden bridge that you see so often in the movies um, and oh look it's Hogwarts again uh, from a different angle or is that uh, the graveyard I'm not sure from the fourth film and Diagon Alley beautifully done and Hagrid's heart as well so there you go cards no. Just normal postcard sort of style, but yeah, it's a nice addition. There's something nice extra to come with it. I love this about boxes. I love extras that come with them. So that, that's the end of that, that drawer. Uh, this drawer comes the conclusion of the Harry Potter films, uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1, which to me, out of uh, Part 1 and 2, I prefer Part 1 more. Um, and it's nice to actually see it not in actual... Um, the um, castle for a change, uh, which makes a change, and the only time that it wasn't in the castle. Uh, and again, all the same things, uh, but the ultimate collection you get the story this time, and uh, you can see all the deleted scenes of gizmos and big bobs. But uh, again, with artworks on the left, and this as well, all done in a booklet style, bit of a plain sort of design on this one. But there you go. Right, and the last one, there's a bit of a a bright one this one, you might want to put your sunglasses on for this one, if I can get it out. And uh, just like before, the other one is being a beast, it doesn't want to come out. Alright, here we go, there we go. Right, let's make use of my little pad again, my little desktop. Uh, so there you go, part two, the final conclusion. Bit annoyed when the, the movie came out and they split it into two parts, I thought, oh, I'll just make one movie, you're going to cash in and doing two movies on it. Why don't you do two movies and all the other thing? So there we go, uh, part two. And this one is creating the world of Harry Potter, growing up. Um, and again, with lots of interesting gizmo. I'll tell you, this whole box set, it's gonna take forever to watch all these discs and stuff. Will it have time? No. Will I have time over a period of six months? Probably yes. Uh, will I have time to watch all my other movies that come out at the same time? No. <laughs> But who's complaining? So there we go, there's uh, the final part of the eight movies, the Deathly Hallows Part 2, again with the Wicked Binder, Year 7, Number 2 again. They look all nice sitting together, but here we go. And finally, last drawer. Yes, we, we've got there at last. We got to the last drawer. Um, and this is the certificate. Um, not a cheap piece of floppy paper, but a real nice bit of quality paper. It's all raised on the edges, and you've got this beautiful sort of stamp, sort of Sleepy Hollow style. And uh, you can see my numbers are nowhere near number one, <laughs> but never mind. So these are your uh, high quality paper certificate, just to say that it's official. Although looking at the box set, you can tell it is official, but it's nice to have it all the same. And then we're greeted uh, with one of my favourite bits. Um, you get some cars. I mean, they do say that you can put these in frames and stuff like that because they are that high, sort of high quality and the frames sort of um, debossed around it as well. And uh, from each film, a significant part. This is the battle chess one. You can see the shadows of the three characters there. My favourite one out of the three. Really, really nice. Then we've got our Chamber of Secrets. And uh, the nicest thing I love about this is you know, a little owl. Woo! And um, here we go. Hogwarts in the background, the Weeping Willow on part three. I would have picked something better for part three. Uh, there we are, Goblet of Fire, one of the um, teams arriving. Um, Order of the Phoenix, one of my favourite of the Harry Potter films. Um, there's the cave entering the cave near the end of the Half Blood Prince. And uh, part two, Deathly Hallows, there's Dobby's Greystone, he's already dead now. <laughs> And uh, the final one where Hogwarts is in flames, it had to end with that one, didn't it? So there you go. So there's your um, more art cards, uh, and in here you greet you with, um, if you live in the UK and uh, you're not too far away, I'm not too far, I'm only about 45 minutes, 40 minutes away, um, you can go and see the studios, there's a map of it there all the different rooms and uh, obviously what it all contains and I do want to go there and I will go there and I will film it 
but it's always sold out and you have to wait a month in advance. But I'll get round to it because I really want to see it. So there you go. Um, now we're moving on to secret compartments. Oh god, I thought I finished now. Right, let's pull this out. Okay, that's hidden right at the back. Um, you wouldn't know, but it's got a little tag. So if you turn it around, we've got the bonus disc. This is the one that Australia don't have for some reason. Uh, a bit like the Titanic, doesn't seem to have all the bits with it as well. In fact, they're half missing. Uh, so this is quite a good one, actually. So I'm glad we've got this one. Um, this is um, what they done, extended version when Harry left Hogwarts. Quite interesting. 50 of the greatest moments picked by the crew or the stars. Um, designing Harry Potter world. Very interesting. Secrets revealed of the Quidditch. Secrets revealed of Hagrid, of how he does the size thing. I know if you've seen Lord of the Rings behind the scenes, you'll know how that's done. And Harry Potter, you never met. Um, not quite sure whether that's meet the speed to the stunt double. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And it's a freebie, so um, I like that too. So that's a great secret compartment. Wicked. Okay, then. We're going to now move on to the last bit, uh, which is... The other secret compartment, which is under this magnetic flap here, there are three items inside. The first one, um, again, it's nice, it's a coffee book style book. Here we are. Look at that, it looks funky, doesn't it? Well, funky. Uh, nice cover, hardback, quality, um, nice little pattern there. And uh, it is one of my favourites, and this is the catalogue of artefacts. And, um, well, it is, like, for instance, this one's Harry Potter. And uh, a few things that you remember Harry Potter from, like the ticket from Nine and Three Quarters, his glasses, the chocolate frog from the first film, uh, Hagrid, the uh, Higwiggle, whatever his name is, the owl, and uh, a little bit of items on the left-hand side to say what they all are as well, just in case you're not too sure. Um, um, Ron Weasley's one with the scabbard, um, the screamer letter from the second film as well, which is quite funny, or the howler, rather. Um, you've got Hermione Granger's. Uh, ones there with a Granger's wand and so forth. Um, and then we got a Gryffindor's uh, common room, which is pretty nice. Um, my favourite character out of all the movies, um, Gilderoy Lockhart, uh, played by Kenneth, Kenneth Branagh from the second film. This guy's hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Um, and then we've got the Marauders map. I would have loved the map to have been in this box set and the blueprint of it because it would have been absolutely fantastic. Why didn't they put it in there? Disappointed. Um, Honey Dukes, which was in a Diagon Alley, which is a sweet shop. They've got Quidditch World Cup, some of the uniforms. Goblet of Fire, some of the artifacts from it. Um, the Tri Wizard Cup and the Golden Egg. Um, we've got Potions um, and Dolores Umbridge. Nasty woman she was from Order of the Phoenix. We're on a Weasley's um, Chalk Shop, uh, Dumbledore's Office, Missing Ministry of Magic. These all done really well. There's really nice artwork and views on them. This is all the prophecy from the fifth film. And all the globes, the Death Eater masks. I thought all the masks look like that, but um, apparently there's different ones, so uh, that's cool. Um, the Gringotts Bank. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, we got the Deathly Hallows necklace. Yeah, we got Dumbledore's will. Hermione Granger's bag. Which, you know, she had all that stuff in that bottomless bag. Um, Deathly Hallows picture, which is a great story. The Deathly Hallows glory. The Horcruxes, or some of them, mm, that are own. Obviously, there's the one that's in the uh, box set. And the Sorting Hat. So there you go. That's really, really cool. So that's the um, yeah. It's the coffee table mat. Right, moving on to the uh, two cool ones. Blimey, this video's going on forever. I'm sorry, guys. Right, here is the blueprints to Hogwarts. Now, this is why I'd have preferred the Marauders map rather than the Hogwarts blueprints, but um, all the same, never mind. Uh, and uh, if I zoom in just a quick little bit, it gives you rough sketches of all the rooms, little pictures, so you sort of uh, gives you an idea of actually what they actually look like. Um, so you're not totally lost because a picture or just a blueprint doesn't give you an idea really of what it is. But if you put a picture next to it, then you go, oh yeah, that's that part of you. And it's a big, big piece of paper uh, or hard card um, with all of it on it. Uh, moving on to my favourite piece, which next to it, uh, same sort of size. This is the best one of the lot. This is like a tea cloth. It's huge um, and it's beautifully detailed and printed colour. Uh, and what we got is uh, Hogwarts Castle. Uh, pathways jutting off all over the place. The Black Lake, 
Um, you've got the uh, station, Hogsmeade Station. The Forbidden Forest, which we see in the um, quite a few of the movies, first, second, fifth one, and so forth. Um, and we've got Hogsmeade, which you saw in the third movie, in Snow, Hagrid's um, Hut, and the Weeping Willow on the uh, right hand side. I don't think I ever saw the Owlery in the film, maybe that's correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and on the left, little uh, jot of points from the movies, you've got like, like Pivot Broad Drive, there we go, King's Cross Station, Burrow, where Weasleys are, Diagon Alley, the Shell Cottage, um, Lawn and, uh, oh, I can't remember her name, you know, the blonde girl. Uh, then we've got Malfoy's Manor, uh, Goldrick's Hollow, which we see near the end of the movies, uh, Ministry of Magic itself, and the Fountain area. You've got Grillmore's place where the Order of the Phoenix are and it opens up and finally the Azkaban prison, that beautiful triangle with the, the, the ravaged water. So there we go. That's that's um, that's that one. And um, that is it, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me for longer than even I wanted to do this for. Um, God, I need to take a break now. I think I need a beer and a roast dinner. I'm knackered. Um, but there you go, sure enough, that is my um, review, um, Couldn't I was going to do a lot of gags and I was going to be silly and I was going to muck around on this, but if I do that as well then we're talking about like, a 40 minute video here, so I thought I'd just get into the facts of uh, what you want and what you're going to buy and what comes inside it, and I hope you're amazed and wowed because it is the best box set I've ever I keep looking at it, I keep opening it up, I keep looking at all the bits. Um, it is expensive, but if you buy it, it's money well spent. You will enjoy it. Um, everything is of pure quality. Um, the, the casing is all hard, tough. Uh, it's not going to break unless you sort of chucking it about. And uh, the quality of the items inside, you're going to love it. So, uh, wicked, absolutely wicked, wicked, wicked. And now I can revisit and watch all the movies again <sighs> when I get some time. Um, but I'll start off with the ultimate collection. Um, uh, behind the scenes and I'll, I'll do it from there but anyway guys thank you very much for hanging out with me for ages and um, I look forward to hearing from you all soon and I'll put more videos and stuff up drop your line uh, I always comment to everybody uh, whoever you are whether you've got a nice comment or a nasty well if you, if you leave a nasty comment I'll just delete it off <laughs> um, so don't waste your time uh, but anyway Thank you very much. Uh, have an awesome time. You're awesome and uh, you keep on rocking and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. Bye.